Hi, welcome back to the Custom Saber Shop on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Rice interface in a Plector Lab sound card equipped Saber. In this case it's a Crystal Focus version 8 inside my Ascend test Saber along with of course the Rice port and I'm going to use this Rice cable. Of course I'll link to this in the video descriptions using the proper cable is important. It's got a USB on one end, a chip and then the 1 8 inch stereo jack on the other end. Now to get started uh, you're going to want to touch the Sabre, you're going to want to touch the chassis of your computer to make sure that you're grounded so there's no electrostatic discharge. Then you can go ahead and plug in the rice cable, plug it into your Sabre, and then what I'm going to do is fire up the rice interface. You can see here that you've downloaded for Crystal Focus version 8, of course you've downloaded the proper drivers, and you've opened it up and this is what you get. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Auto Scan. That's going to hopefully find the right COM port that my Sabre's in. I'm going to pull the kill key. Sabre boots up. And I'm going to fire it up. First thing I'm going to do is go over to the sound volume. Now you can notice that I'm in the override tab. Sound volume. I drop that down and the sound goes immediately on the Sabre in real time. So that tells me I am connected. Now if for whatever reason I was not connected um, and it wasn't working, then I would go over here to port, I would select a different port, connect and try that um, until you found the right port. But I am connected and we are ready to go. Now what most people want to do, of course there's all these different features and things you can affect, but most people want to affect color. So we're going to go to the LED tab and I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to fire up the Sabre. Now I can change different color profiles until I'm in the profile that I want to change. I want to go over here to read configuration. And that's going to read whatever currently is on the saver. Currently, I'm in color profile number four, and it, these are my color values. Now, I set my savers, current one is blue, current two is green, and current three is red, BGR. Most people set them up RGB, but it's just what I do. So I'm going to click over to BGR. You'll notice it goes dead on all the channels. Of course, I can bring those up a little bit. I never want to bring them up more than 1,000 milliamps to protect my LED. You can overdrive them. I just don't do that. Uh, just to keep the LED in its safe operating zone. Um, now because I've selected BGR I can of course move this dial all over and I can find all kinds of different colors. I can find what I want to, you know, maybe I want some really cool shade of blue or in this case maybe I want something that's almost like a white. Something like, uh, like that. Look at my color values. Look I'm almost 1000 right across the board. So what I'm going to do to save this is I'm going to click Store Profile. It's not saved yet. I need to go over here to Save Override. Not Save Config. Save Override because the color profiles are in the Override folder. So now it's saved on Override. Um, so now when I fire it up, now it's got my saved color is now color profile number four. Click Read Config just to make sure. Now if I want to change the flash on clash color, let's see what we got here. That's a kind of a cool color. But what I want to do maybe is go some real cool red, bright red. Flash. Something like that. Let's try doing it this way. It's going to put current three, which is red, all the way up. That's a cool flash on clash. So then I want to go back to LED, store profile, save override. And basically you can, can repeat that with whatever color profiles you have, all, all the ten, and, uh, and you can custom tune every color you want. You can, of course, custom tune the, the lockup, flash on clash. Um, in general, you can affect the, uh, the accent LED performance. And in override, of course, you've got uh, your sensitivity to swings and clashes and your power level indicators and all the different things that you can do with the Rice interface of the Crystal Focus version 8. Now, if you have a Petit Crouton or a Prism or even a Crystal Shard, you will have a limited functionality, but it essentially works the same way, especially when it comes to changing and tuning your colors. So I hope this video has been a helpful introduction into how to use a real-time internal configuration editor with your Plector Lab, Sab Lab Saber. If you uh, like this video, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And again, thanks for watching.